Black hole is a region in space which has such a strong gravity that even light cannot escape from the region. Even time around black holes is not the same as it is here. Black holes warp time. And black holes are far from empty. They are the densest things there are in the universe. You would have to compress the earth to the size of a coin in order for earth to become a black hole. That's how much matter these black holes contain. And every galaxy has a black hole. That's really how galaxies are formed. Our sun orbits a central black hole in the Milky Way, same as every other star in the Milky Way. So really, we are traveling around our galaxy. Now, our central black hole is Sagittarius A, but it is not the closest one there is to us. So will we ever visit black holes? Are we even in ability to ever do such a thing? First of all, Let's take a look at the closest black holes, since really, to get to the central black hole, it would take us quite a amount of time. Even if we were to go at the speed of light, it would take us a bit more than 25,000 years to reach Sagittarius A. But also, we are far from traveling even near the speed of light. So yeah, this is not an option right now, and will not even be an option in a few decades, really. But the closest black hole we have found is also not really close at all. It is around 3,500 light years away. So let's see how much will it take us to reach the closest black hole with current technology. So alright, Voyager 1 is the most distant human-made object and it is going through space at 60,000 kilometers per hour. Now to reach the closest star, which is Proxima Centauri, which is 4.2 light years away, it would take Voyager 1 75,000 years to reach it. Using that number to reach the closest black hole, it would take Voyager 1 around 50 million years to reach the closest black hole found. And that's just a human probe. A human spaceship would not be any faster. So it's safe to say that with current technology, we are not visiting any stars nor black holes. But in the future, maybe in a century or so if humans survive, then we likely would be able by that time to develop an antimatter engine, basically engine that uses antimatter as a fuel. It would be the most efficient engine there is because even tiny amounts of antimatter when they collide with regular matter they release a huge amount of energy. So basically they create huge explosions. So humans could with this engine reach the speeds of around 150,000 kilometers per second which is still half the speed of light. There is also the problem that when going that fast any other cosmic rock, even tiny ones, like dust particles that hit the spaceship, could potentially destroy it because of such speed. So lots of problems could arise, but still it's not something that humans are not able to fix. So let's say the future is now, that humans have finally made a spaceship that can travel using antimatter. Now let's head on to the closest black hole. The trip will take also about 7,000 years, so maybe if it is such far future, we humans would have likely figured out how to live a lot longer than we do now, so we could survive the trip to this black hole. So after that, humans finally arrive at the closest black hole that was. Now likely the whole spaceship would not just crash into the black hole, but rather they would likely do some experiments. What if something went really wrong and the whole ship started going towards the black hole? As soon as that starts, there is no escape. At one point, the ship would go down to the photon sphere. This is the place around the black hole where photons, light, orbits around the black hole. Things would get pretty distorted and weird here. As the ship would sink lower, the ship would pass the event horizon. Horizon where light cannot escape. And looking back, the human crew would be able to see the whole view outside as a sphere, getting smaller and smaller. That's all until the ship finally approaches the singularity of the black hole. Then the whole ship would be stretched out and it would basically lead to everyone's death in the ship. Now when atoms that made up the ship, when they reach singularity, what will happen? Well, no one really knows. But a popular concept 
is that the material just reappears in another place many light years away. Basically it says that black holes warp space like a piece of paper and that would allow humans to travel faster than light while not breaking any known laws of physics. But who knows what really happens, as of right now we can only speculate. Now here is another important thing, we can't observe black holes directly, but we can observe their gravitational influences on other objects such as stars, that's how we find black holes. But there may be much closer black holes that we just haven't spotted yet. Technically, there could be a tiny black hole near the solar system that we cannot see. So in the future, we may find black holes that are much closer to us and travel time to them will be greatly reduced. So that is pretty much it, by the looks of it, in a century or so, if we as human species survive, then we likely will be an ability to sometime visit black holes. But until that happens, we should study and learn about black holes as much as we can.